This morning in delicious drinks, everyone loves to celebrate, especially in the summertime. And this morning, we're celebrating with some bubbly cocktails. The cocktail guru, Jonathan Pogash, joins us. Good morning. Good morning, Michaela. Good I do, morning. I love drinks like this. It's sparkly. They're bubbly. Perfect yes, for the summertime. Festive. A couple of them are low alcohol. They're easy to make. Mm -hmm. You know, two ingredients. You'll notice I don't have any bar tools here. Yeah. So no bar we tools like necessary. That. And that's but, yeah. nice because not everyone has them at home. Right, exactly. So these are really easy way to, ways to elevate your traditional sparkling cocktails. Okay. First up is something called the spritz. Yes. So this is a traditional Italian digestivo, or I'm sorry, aperitivo cocktail, which Okay. is before eating, digestivo is after eating. Hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm using Maletti. This is a traditional Italian bitters liqueur. Okay. It has um, notes of grapefruit and orange, a touch sweet. I put about an ounce and a half to two ounces. I'm just sort of I was going to say, usually with bitters, it's just a dash. So it, right. this so has the, just a touch are, of bitters Right, too. so okay. regular bitters, which I actually have here, are mm -hmm. considered non-potable. They are potable, but in okay. small quantities. Potent potables. The, yes, this is <laughs> actually drinkable potable in larger quantities. Okay. And we'll actually just top that off with Prosecco. This is a lovely Prosecco called mm. Maschio Prosecco which is, a, of course, Italian sparkling wine. And Prosecco is so popular Prosecco over the years. Prosecco is very popular, and we'll add just a little piece of orange, and that is a spritz. And look at the color, isn't, though, isn't that, that you achieve with that, too. That looks beautiful. I know. Something else is called the Royale. Yes, so this is a, a traditional Kir Royale, which is just creme de cassis, which is a black currant liqueur with Prosecco or sparkling wine. Huh. So this is Mathilde creme de cassis. It has rich flavor. I kind of want to just smell this one on its own. And then we just top mm, that off again with a little bit of the Prosecco just on top. Give it a little nice. stir. You have another one here. Is this something That's that we raspberry. can kind of swap? You absolutely flavor? can. Mathilde, they make a really delicious line of all natural, fresh, French fruit liqueurs. Mm. Mathilde and the Cassis, <laughs> the raspberry. Yes, exactly. I like that. Very nice. <laughs> How would um, we top this so one? So I am just garnishing with a couple of raspberries and mm. a couple of blackberries. And this is a nice take. If you like a sangria with fruits in it, throw some fruit in, in these cocktails. Exactly, exactly. Really nice. Perfect. Oh, and a cocktail guru straw. Exactly. I love that. <laughs> Next up, if you like, if you like the basics or the classics, right. gin and tonic, vodka, vodka soda. Exactly. So this is an elevated vodka soda. I'm using a really delicious natural acai blueberry flavored vodka. Mm. Um, good antioxidant. Good antioxidant. It has a touch of. Uh, sweetness to it. It is a beautiful color as well and just some sparkling water. You can play around with different flavors of soda water if you'd like. Mm -hmm. And a little straw. We're topping that off. Of course, aside from blueberries grown right here in the great state of Rhode Island, yeah. Maine blueberries are really nice and delicious. They so are known just, for those. They are known, so we're throwing some Maine blueberries right in there. Sometimes you put blueberry in a beer, but why not in your cocktail? Why not? Because and it a always little, tastes so good. And a little lemon wheel. Delicious. Refreshing. Yes. Last but not least. Last but not least, a gin and tonic. One of my favorite cocktails to just have, a classic, you know, yeah. after a, an event where I've just been making cocktails, yes. I just want to sit down and have a simple drink, a gin and tonic or a vodka soda. So mm -hmm. I have a Scottish gin in here which some really nice botanicals actually mm -hmm. apples are one of the botanicals that are in this particular gin nice. use a good tonic water which is what this is this is from a company called Q tonic mm -hmm. they make really delicious all natural real sugar tonic water great and some botanicals these are juniper berries which of course hey. are in gin and cardamom which oftentimes is in gin as well. Nice. And a couple of slices of apple. Oh, hey. And that a looks straw. awesome. Isn't that lovely? All right, so grab your beverage. We'll cheers to the weekend. Thanks so much, cheers. Jonathan. My pleasure. To you. If you want the recipes, go to roadshow.com.